Oh! Oh! Oh, hello! Luke here and welcome back to another video. You joined me this morning in an underground car park in London. I actually stayed here overnight after attending my good friend uh, Zen Car Driver's uh, Hurricane Performante Spider Collection Day. There's a Range Rover on my side of the road. What are you doing? Uh, but anyway, yes, we're in London today. Uh, we're in town this weekend, so we thought we'd do a good old bit of car spotting. And look who I'm joined with. Me! For those of you who are new to the channel, you probably haven't seen a video with Chloe in before. It's been a while. Uh, it has been a while. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, we thought, well, that's a nice e type. Cool. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna, we've got a free day and um, thought we'd just see why is that. You've gone the wrong way. Have I said you've gone the wrong way? Yeah. You're joking. Oh, no. oh there I've we go. Okay. okay, so let me try and maneuver out of this car park without curving my wheels because that would be. So big speed bump. Very oh my god, how's your lid come off? Oh my god, my Starbucks. Oh my god, it's on there. Oh, oh my it's god. all going wrong. <laughs> oh no. So the first little excursion for today's video is to HR own here in Kensington. I think it's South Kensington. I don't really know where I am. Uh, but there's rumour that there is the first customer for a take piece that are being delivered here very shortly. So I'm here amongst a fair few other friends uh, to hopefully see it arrive. It was cool. First one delivered into the uh, no, not the UK. No, correct to, the, to, to London. London. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a demonstrator or if it's a customer car, um, but quite a quite a standard spec. I yeah. say standard spec. Um, but it's a cool spec. It's a clean spec. It looks nice with the silver wheels. I think it's going to be um, a popular spec. Yeah. A yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can go that wrong with a piece of spec. Oh, we have some green lights. <laughs> no. Um, it's a cool car, nonetheless. I would always go for carbon wheels, though. You see, I would, but not if I lived in London, because if you curve no. one of those wheels, God, no. you <laughs> you're imagine? stuffed. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, that was a, a nice little good start to the day. Um, it's now, what is the time? 11.48. Indeed. Um, so plenty of time left in the day, so... Well, and the sun's out as well, which is good. Mm. That's always a bonus. Yeah, so, um, nice. Fingers crossed, we see some other cool stuff. Woo! Now, London this afternoon is just gridlocked for whatever reason. I think they're doing some roadworks or whatever. But I thought I would mention, uh, actually, at the beginning of this video, I said that I was here uh, in town yesterday filming uh, a collection day of a Performante Spider, and I actually had some time in and around London um, to do a little bit of car sporting. So I think what I'm gonna do now is kind of go back in time a bit to yesterday, because uh, I did see some cool stuff, and I also went to Joe Macari's. Um, so I'll roll all that footage and then hopefully, once we've done that, things will harden up a bit. Okay, so welcome to Joe Macari, more specifically their service centre, which is just behind me. Um, but they have some pretty wicked stuff parked outside, as you can probably see. Uh, today's Friday, obviously, like I mentioned, uh, today is the day before 
the rest of the video that you're seeing was filmed. Very confusing. Uh, but I thought I'd stop by here because, well, you can't blame me, right? So uh, let's have a run around and show you what is here. Okay, so rather nice red on red F40. But those of you who really know your F40s will probably notice something that is a little bit strange here, and that is the lift system. Now, obviously, um, back when the F40 was first revealed, um, lift systems weren't really a thing. So this is one of, I think, quite a few cars which have actually had uh, aftermarket lift systems in uh, installed on the car just because the front is so low. Uh, but this one looks really clean, actually. Really good condition. Love seeing these things. They never, ever get boring couple of three five fives here one spider and one coupe then things start getting very interesting we've got a 599 gto and we've got a tdf so cool to see both of these together we've got a nero speciale which actually looks super cool without the stripe very stealthy spec i mean it's not something which i would personally spec for me you've got to have stripes on the speciale but uh, still, it looks very, very cool. And then over here, we have an insane looking P1. Uh, this is actually factory paint, factory matte paint uh, with the red accents, uh, fully done via uh, MSO. I've actually seen this car before when it was for sale in the showroom, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, but one interesting thing about this particular car is all of the, what is normally exposed carbon is not. So this virtually has no carbon on it. Uh, it's just finished in gloss black. So you've got the full front splitter, a uh, little bits up there. You've got in the middle of the door, normally that's carbon, uh, and then the side skirts as well. Oh, and the mirrors. Um, so it's very strange, actually, but it works. But again, like I said about the Speciale, I wouldn't spec it, but just look at that thing. Such a menacing spec. But anyway, yeah, like I mentioned, let's go head over to the showroom because there's some equally epic cars over there. Okay, so I forgot to mention that the fact that there is also an F50 part here. Uh, honestly, this place is just madness all the time. I think it's fair to say that I will never, ever tire of coming to this place. Yellow F50, man. Oh, it, this is dreamland, I swear. We've got a, a black Laffaperta, which I had no idea was here. Uh, so that's very cool. We've got Senna, we've got a Reventon. Uh, I mean, just look at this place. I'm sure you've seen videos of mine in the past where I visited here, uh, but it just never gets boring. And I'm sure for those of you who have been here will completely understand what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys here right now. There are so many cars in here that I genuinely do not know where to start or where to where to go. You know, I've got a Ital Design Zeruno, I think they call it. Uh, we've got a Reventon Roadster. We've got Senna. It's ridiculous. And also, I've just noticed something over there which is actually quite interesting. So, if you guys watch my Monza videos, you might recognize that car. Now, I saw the F12 TDF kind of homage creation of that car, the 330P4. Um, and I overlaid a picture of that car on the video and it just caught my eye. So that is very cool. Uh, those of you who watched that video will know exactly what I'm on about. Those who didn't, uh, you won't. So go check it out. Okay, so whistle stop tour here at Joe Macari. I've now got to go into central London to film another video, uh, a Hurricane Performante Spider Collection Day with my good friend Zen Car Driver on Instagram. That video is already up on the channel, so if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. But I've got to whiz into town to do that, and then I'll hand you back over to, in, in the future, Luke, who's recording the rest of this. It's very confusing, but um, yeah, Joe Macari, amazing, amazing place. Right, so I think it's gonna be time to leave this thing here for a bit now. Uh, as you can imagine, the fuel economy really isn't very good in this thing around London, but I must say it is so much easier to drive compared to my previous car, the A1, because obviously that was manual, this is auto. It's also really cool to have this thing finally in London. Uh, but anyway, yes, time to explore London on foot.
this cool little combo, Specialia Perza and Aventador 50th. But check out the carbon on this. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is satin. I've never seen that before. Completely stealth that spec. Black on black on black on black on black. On yellow for the shields. Uh, Grey stripe as well. Really, really nice spec. Not bad little find. across what I believe to be one of the first uh, M2 competitions in the UK, finishing a very stealth spec which actually kind of made me judge whether it was a, a standard one or not, but it looks wicked. In he goes. Those wheels look nice. Yeah, those wheels are Matt Black Bentega as well. Love it. I love those things. Look at this, we've got Portofino here. Now, actually, I believe we saw that one earlier when we were at HRO and Ferrari waiting for the Pista. That was actually waiting to be collected. So, uh, it's pretty cool. I spy with my little eye, something beginning with 570 Spider. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really nice, I like that. Orange accents look good. So I can whiz in behind him. Yes. I'll tell you what, the traffic today is an absolute nightmare. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, hello! F40. We've just gone and hit the jackpot, check this out. I've actually seen this show on before, but it was pitch black and it was driving the other way, so I didn't get any footage. But Nardo Grey, blue interior, blue calipers, looks the nuts. So I've got Edition 1 uh, G-Wagon here, and then a Euros pulling in up there, but this show on though, what a spec. I mean, come on, just check out that interior. Now, obviously the, the reflections are not really doing it justice, but bright blue along with the Nardo Grey, we've got the blue continuing on the outside as well. Oh, I just love it. Okay, so I think that Chiron is gonna round up today's video pretty damn nicely. The spec on it is honestly out of this. What is that? Is that a Camaro? Anyway, yeah, I think that's gonna round up today's video. Um, it's been an awesome weekend here in London because obviously I was here yesterday as well filming that Hurricane Performante Spider collection day. Video of that is already up on the channel if you guys haven't seen it already. Uh, but this thing has been a dream here in London. The MPG has been a little bit dodgy, but um, it's been super fun and super easy to drive. Uh, so I expect I'll bring this up here to London plenty more times. Anyway, like I said, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come. And by the way, yes, that was a Camaro. Oh, and a 430. Cool.